Hello everyone and welcome to another Epic Games Free Play. This is a series in which I look at the Epic Games Store because they are giving away free games and I am looking to see whether they are worth going to get what they are and kind of give you guys the lowdown of what the games are and how they play. Now this game that I'm looking is one of two for this week. That is right, we are getting two games this week. It is crazy and over the top and I don't care because both games are amazing. It is such a big week for free games, it's unbelievable. Now I have been turned this into a live stream so I get to play the games on the day that they're free and I get to show you guys what they are. As I'm not going to be able to do that this week. I'm making videos pre-release because I already own both games. So I'm not going to be playing the exact versions necessarily that you're going to be getting. But it, the game is still the same. Um, and the game that I'm looking at right now is Moonlighter. Moonlighter. This is essentially a roguelike top-down RPG with a twist because you basically run a shop and the point of your shop is to make money and the money that you you that you get from the shop you uh, basically increase your items and your equipment so you can go in to the dungeon and get further so it's all like a big circle you go into the dungeon you go as far as you can collecting the items and then when you come out, you sell the items so you can go that little bit further so you can get better items. So you can then come back and sell the slightly better items so you can go that little bit further and you can just keep going until you basically fight the bosses in the dungeons and win the game. It is really fun. It is very, very good because it's all about kind of item management. Um, in the shop, you get to choose the prices, and if people don't like the prices, they will not pay, and they will walk out. So, you have to make sure that you get the right price for the right items. The more items of one type that you sell, the less people will be willing to pay for them, so that the price goes down a little bit each time. And the dungeon being roguelike means that it will be random, so you never really know what you're going to be walking into. There, obviously, uh, there are slight issue the, the i mean the, the only issue i've really found with moonlighter so far is it is a little bit repetitive i found it takes so much to go up to the next level that you'll be on one level for longer than you probably should and it gets a little bit repetitive because you, it just takes too long to get to where you need to to go to the next level to the next dungeon um, but other than that, it's it's really good. If you like roguelikes and it's definitely your kind of game, then this is fantastic because it's the the owning the shop is such a bigger twist for you as well. You know, you also get to run the village as well. It's all great fun. Um, so that is free right now. Now, um, because I'm playing this before they're free, I'm not. I can't guarantee that it's not pick one game for free and you're not actually going to get both. But I'm, I'm, I feel like you are going to get both. So if you want to know the other game that is free this week, then please check the playlist. There is an eye on top of the screen right now for you to go and have a look. I am going to be playing uh first, I don't know, 20 minutes or so of the game. So you get to see it play and you get to see what it involves, um, all the different parts of it. So keep watching if you want to know that. Um, otherwise, just go to Epic Games go get it now um it is free why not and i'll see you again next time hello everyone welcome to moonlighter welcome to epic games free play they're really spoiling you all i was gonna say us but i already own both the games that are free this week so i'm a little bit annoyed at that but having different versions of the same game isn't a bad thing at all so new game hard game i'm saying hard game i have played it already i was about halfway through the second dungeon 
so is 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 roughly where I got. It gets a little bit repetitive, so it's not the kind of game I play very regularly. I jump in every now and then. I think a lot of games like this can have that problem with it. Among the stars of the night, there is a land. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in the land. They call them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village, slight curious, took root near the dungeons. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. The dungeons proved too dangerous, they were soon closed, as too many lost their lives in the depth. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop. Long dreaming of opening a mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. That's me! Oh, here he is. Right, okay, so there we go. You use that one and move around. Wahoo! Way! Look at that, I'm running. Now we're going to go into the next one. Look at that, we can we can run through these whole tables. Whee, little dive. Whee. Now what you can do is you can roll. Whee. straight over him ah -ha. roll over the bullets roll over the bullets I mean it's one of those things if you have actually played smack if you have played um, roguelikes I mean you you would have seen aha they can see me now Uh, yeah, if you've played like Binding of Isaac, um, if you've played uh, the Gungeon, which we got free recently, uh, the Gungeon is very good. Um, all of these kind of games, they're all uh, they're all very similar. They've got like destructible things. You've got attacks. You can see I'm attacking with a sh with a, with a broom. You actually get to keep this broom the whole of the game. I've never, I never sell it. It's the one thing I don't sell. All right, can we? Uh... Oh. Oh, let's... let's kill you. There we go. Okay, I forgot. Again, I haven't played for a little while. Now you'll notice I'm picking up these red things in the top right hand corner. I can use one to heal myself. I think there's a limit. You can only have like five. Um, yay. We'll go runes. Uh, some hardened steel. And we've got a, a nice little water lamp. Now this is all the stuff, things like these will be used to make things, um, whereas like the water lamp is stuff that you'll just be selling, no real use for it really. There we go, and then let's see what's in this one. We have ourselves an ancient pot, very nice, and some fabric, lovely. Lovely little, oh, we've got a stick. Grab a stick. Now, obviously, as you just saw, we ha also have a limited uh, infantry. Oh, man, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
This is a scripted ending, don't worry. I want to kill at least one of them. Ow. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's frozen. Well, I killed something. <laughs> and you see, look, I lost all of my stuff. It fro it didn't like that. It really didn't like that. The game did not at all agree. And it chucked me out. I didn't actually die. And you can see, look, this this was one dungeon. The other dungeons are all sealed. Um, he went looking for the kid, all alone now. Rest for a bit. I have you now. Um, yeah, basically, uh, the story is each dungeon has a big, big boss. If you can get to the big boss, um, you can get access to the next dungeon because you get a key for the next dungeon. If you then beat that boss, you can then get access to the next dungeon. And once you beat all four bosses, you then use all four keys to get into the final dungeon. Even as a mere child. Yeah, I've been obsessed with the dungeons. There's no doubt you can carry the same obsession. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Listen to me. The hard truth is you are the last of your family. The only one to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the f this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Yeah, we literally need to find artifacts to sell and leave. He doesn't want us to go too much into it. But he's going to give me a very, very basic starting weapon. Um, yep, come on. Okay. I get it. I get it. You can see there's items on sale. Successful selling your merchant time those two things. You must have the value and the demand. Um, hold to open the shop. Pow! We're open, people. In they come. And now what they'll do is they'll see something. She likes the price. Lovely. And now she'll bring it. And then I can go, she sold it, and I've got money. That's a good impression. That's a, ooh, nice. Yeah. That's how he browse, always price their wares. And now you see, he'll come in and say, ooh, this is too expensive. There, and walk off, I think. Yep, not happy. Because now what we can do is... Oh, hold on. Yeah, so this is what I said at the beginning. If you send, uh, if you sell something too much, then the price can lower. Um, so you've got to keep checking your notebook to see how things are. Boom, boom, boom. So there's the crystal. And there you go. You can see that 100 was a nice price. But you can also see that 200 was way off. Um, so that way you know what the price is like. And that's what we need to do. Dungeons are more perilous at night. You can always find better artifacts. Use the pendant. The problem you have with this game, well not, not a problem at all, um, I, I, it's just something I have never really slept. Okay, so he's gonna what make me go into the to the dungeon again? Um, I haven't played it since from the beginning for a while, but let's give it a go. I've got myself a sword now. You see, there's the uh, there's the mythical fifth door. 
So, let's have a go. Let's go for the first way of the dungeon. We'll do one dungeon and one cell. And, uh... Yay! So you see, like all these games, this is, this is the actual dungeon. The other one was a scripted one. But this obviously is now the real dungeon. So we, we can't see what's in the rooms. Uh, but we know that there are rooms. So when we come in, I can now see that there's nothing in here. So we keep going. Kill everything. Yay, and now the door's open. It's lovely. It's interesting we didn't actually get anything from any of them. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah, I find with this game, I never really sleep. I never saw the point. I, I didn't know if there was ever any, um, any kind of. You know, die. No, I'm not. I might. I might actually die. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah, I was never fully aware. some of that and some lenses, nice. Um, yeah, I never really understood whether you uh, lose anything if you didn't sleep. Uh, because you would, I would find that I would come into the dungeons at night and I would sell whatever it was that I found during the day. And there was never really a time when I needed to sleep. Maybe sleep can heal you, perhaps? Aha! Grab those. Grab those. Have a read. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from a strange creature across the room. My pendant all but spluttered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on his near the Guardian's room. Okay. He dropped a couple of items, then he fled. One of which was this map diagram. Whatever it is, he called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete, gone done, lost his marbles. But I was right, each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked door. There you go. So it's like I said, basically. Big boss gonna kill me, I suppose, to let them all out. I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, you get the four keys. It's basically each one will unlock the next one. And then when you get all four, you can unlock the main one. And all this stuff. Yay. Okay, so there we go. Now, this is like a scripted, this is how you leave. So, we go pop, pop. And we go back to the village. And that's what we did. We killed all those things. We didn't open any chests. There are four floors, you can see at the top there. So we stayed on the first floor. Um, and those are all the items that we collected along the way. And we're back. Ha ha ha. Hubbity hubbity ha. The young proprietor of Moonlight has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use the pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? There's a chart of the dungeons. 
Where did you get this? Oh, Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's beyond that door. Just get the artifacts you need from the dungeon. And look after Moonrider. And that is some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Try and revitalize the town. So basically, yeah, you can get money and you can go and revitalize the town. Um, you do need them because I think like a black, you need to actually have the blacksmith. Because that's where the blacksmith will be here. See, town. So you see you've got the forge, forge. Um, which is which is really what you need, and then the wooden hat's not bad. Basically, it creates uh, health potions and other potions for you. Um, and then if I look at the shop itself, this is where you can expand your shop. So you can see what the plan. So that's the current shop that we have, with a few expansions. You can see it basically gives you another four display sections makes it slightly bigger and then you got a real layout there with an extra um, chest in your room and then you got bigger and then you got the biggest and then the stuff down here these are these are really good to have you can have like a cheap sale box, which you can stuff all of the really cheap stuff in, and they'll just take it at like a ten, yeah, seventy-five percent discount. Um, so you get hardly anything for it, but you're not, you don't want to waste time putting the cheap stuff on the actual display counters. So those are pretty decent. Um, the cash registers are give you tips, which is great. Uh, the beds, see, so yeah, extra health, so. It helps you to do bits and pieces. And then the chests are bigger sizes. So those are the things that you can do in the uh, village. But we need to get the shop open. So we know this. So what we do is we need to change the price to 100 because we know that that's the right price. Um, then we're going to go you we'll do you we'll do you see if we go across it tells us we have no clue absolutely no clue but if we look down we can see that it's a fair way up a water sphere um, so we can put the water sphere for like, in fact, let's have a, let's have a look. So you see the crystal is at a hundred. So it's under a hundred. We know that roughly. It's not, it's not, it's not like a guaranteed under a hundred. These are all kind of open for interpretation. Uh, let's try 65 for you. Um, this is slightly, this is near the 100, so we can put this one at 100 and just see what, what happens. And then this is slightly higher, so we'll do say 120 for that one. There we go. And then we can open our little shop and get ourselves some monies. And let's see how people's deals with this is. Hello everyone, come and have a little rumble. I haven't got my cheap, I know that's normally where my cheap uh, counter is, but it ain't there yet, so go away. Uh, how are they gonna find these things? So that's fine. Oh, that's really cheap, okay. That's fine. So one of them we did was really cheap. So what we'll do now is we can now go Place you, oh no, place you on, place you, and place the iron, and 
now we go. You are a lot higher than the than the ancient pot and that. Um, so let's. Um, I'm gonna try 250. Uh, no, 200 for that because that was at the bottom of that line. You are. We haven't got a price for you yet, but it's near. Oh yeah, no, because that was the first one I did just now. Okay, so this is above the water sphere but below the lens. Ah, oh, 65 was really cheap for that. Um, we got that at 100. So I don't know if 65. I might try 100 on this as well. And then this is actually quite high. It's above the water lamp, so I might try 250 for this. 240. Let's try 240. Let's see how that goes. There's all that new stuff. Yeah, so basically this happens until uh, the night time comes. So is this fine? Oh, that, that's a good price. Lovely. You can have that, my son. That's a good price, nice. Look at the money we got. Uh, did she look at that? She didn't look at it, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's put you in. You're above this, which was 240, so I'm gonna maybe do 280 for that, I think. It's a lot more than normal, but you know what? I'm going for it. And then we will move you. And you, okay, so 65 was good for you. So let's try 65 for you, actually. this that's a good price lovely we're gonna run out of time people good price oh look at this I'm knocking all these prices out just need to sell this and then uh, this should probably be the last thing oh no it's too expensive okay so that's fine I can I mean I don't really have much anything of worth The jelly is not bad. Let's move you across. You are the very bottom. The iron bars, the welt stones. So the welt stones are, because, oh no, oh, that's fine. Um, let's do that. So this was too much. Let's take that down to 50, 50. Take that down to 50. Um, this. 65 was too much for that. So these, I mean, oh yeah, I've literally just put that to 50. Let's put this to 35. And then this is right at the bottom, so 10. Let's just see if they take it for 10. Time's running out, people, if you want to have him. Still too expensive. Those bars are still too expensive. Oh. There we go. No. Too expensive. This stuff is all it's all too expensive. I just I just want it. Uh put you at 15. Put you at 25. No. Angry. Well you can be as angry as you want. It's not my fault you don't want this stuff. <laughs> okay, that's that's priced decent now at least. Okay, okay, good. I'm get I've got these prices down. Why not put a price for? 
I haven't actually priced this thing, idiot. Um, it's five, so let's try, let's just try ten. Before the night runs out, let's see if we can sell everything. Now you see, that's interesting, the guy who's just walked in. Um, he specifically is looking for weapons or armor or anything along those lines. Um, and he will pay a little bit more if he can get hold of that kind of stuff. But these both. I mean, I know they're not the best things in the world, but I mean, come on. That price should be okay. Yeah. All right, now they're going because all the lights have changed. So this will be the last thing we sell. Yeah, look at all the money we got. 2,500, yay. Okay, so look, this is every, this is a list of all that we sold. And this was the popularity. So we can see that popularity and everything went up except for those two, which we just could not. Oh yeah, um, lovely. So now it's night time. So now what we can do is we can invest in him. And here he comes. This is going to be the end of the game now. This will be the end of the video. What I want is I just want to show you the uh, the guy. I just want to show you um, how it works. Okay. You're the one who got the forge. Thank you very much. Here's the forge. So now you see this is how it works. So you've got a whole selection of different armor that you can choose from, uh, which are like uh, for boots and for defensive and they change your speed and all this kind of stuff but you see you need things you can see there the recipe you need the recipes for you to be able to make this stuff and dependent on which direction you want to go depends on what you need in order to make this stuff now you see swords and shields are what I have. I have that, which is the starting sword and shield. Then to make any of these, um, I basically need to use my sword and shield to make these ones. So I will lose my current weapon in order to get these. Now one of these is just solid sword and shield. Fight, 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 that is literally all it is. This one is less powerful, but involves magic. As you can see, you get extra magic attack. But it's less powerful. So it depends whether you want to go slightly more magical or just all out power. However, if you want to do big sword rather than sword and shield, you see you lose your speed. And it works exactly the same. You basically get one that is all power and one that is power and magic. But I have to essentially build this first. Because all these two require the starting one. And I don't have the training one. I only have the training sword and shield. And you can do the same with you've got spears. Or you've got gloves, which are like fighting gloves. Or you've got bows and arrows. Um, now, as you can see, you need those crumbled things to make the starting everything pretty much um once you know what you need you can then say right i want to add this to my wish list push the wrong button hmm. so let's say i decide i want to make a big sword i can add that to my wish list um and then all i need i need to remember that i need 10 of the purple things and I require 15 of the uh, fibers and one broken sword handle, which I believe you can get from those big golems with the swords. Um, if you're there, yeah, that's where they, they tend to drop those. And then once you've built the first one, you can then move forward to building these. Um, so yeah, 
this is really interesting because you can slowly work your way and obviously you can have two weapons at once so what I tended to do in the main game when I was playing it was I had a spear and I had a bow and arrow and that was my two main weapons so that I could basically have my spear for a distant range and then I had my bows and arrows for proper range for ranged attacks alright but that is Moonlighter. Now I played it a little bit longer than expected, but I think that's a good grasp. I think you need to really understand both the the shop side and the dungeon side to really understand how the game works because um, one side one side might be something you really enjoy and the other side might not be. So you have to be aware that they are both there. And you have to be uh, uh, willing to do both because you because you need to do the dungeons to get the items to send the shop but then you have to do the shop to be able to get money to expand the shop to expand the village to get new items because even if you collect these items you still need a thousand monies so you know what I mean it's all it's all intertwined you have to do both um, but that's it. It is available free today, right now, for one week only at the Epic Game Store. It is free today at the Epic Game Store. It will be available for a week. Uh, go get it now. Now, there is another game available um, this week, because they're spoiling us rotten. And that game, and a link to see what game that is, is available on screen right now. Please like and subscribe. Please take a look at my videos and I will see you again next time.